In the fully extended position, your arms fully extended in front of you, pressing on your buoy, eyes focused directly to the bottom of the pool. Initiate that first pull, rotating your head and body to breath. Okay, once you're at this position, go ahead and initiate pull number two, your lead arm. All right? At this point, you can either leave your head up breathing, or as you make pull number two, go ahead and bring your head back down looking at the bottom of the pool. If you're more negative, I recommend that you bring your head back down looking towards the bottom of the pool. Okay, meaning more negative in the water, meaning you're, you're less apt to float. Okay? You bring the head back down to the bottom of the pool. Now, your hands and scissor kick initiate the, at the same time. As you bring your arms forward, you bring your top leg and, and, you, and your cocking of your scissor kick forward at the exact same time, ensuring that you bring your hands tight to your body and up, up past the face. And as, as the hands come past the face, this is when you initiate your scissor kick. And that scissor kick will corkscrew your body around to flat again. And once you're flat, you, you immediately initiate pull number one, rotation of the body to breath. Pull number two, head back down, or you can leave your head back up. Initiating the, the next portion of, your, uh, of the stroke, hands up, scissor kick up, corkscrewing yourself around to flat. Okay, now that's the full side stroke. And the last side stroke I want to introduce is, the, is more of the sprinter side stroke, okay? Now the sprinter side stroke, the only difference between the full side stroke and this side stroke is rather than bringing that lead arm, that, number, that, that pull number two all the way down, all you're going to do is half stroke it, okay? But arms will still go out together. It's just a little bit of a timing difference, all right? So I pull, I rotate myself to breath, and as I'm coming forward, as I'm bringing my head back down to the water, I initiate. I initiate the lead arm, I scoop down into my armpit, and, I, and my hands meet again, I fully extend back out to flat, cranking the hips around with that nice, good, strong scissor kick, I, it makes me flat again, and I get full extension. Pressing on the buoy, face down, in perfect body alignment. Now the difference is between the full side stroke and the sprinter side stroke. The full side stroke, you're, it's gonna be a lot less strokes going across the pool. My heart rate's gonna be down a little bit lower. I'm gonna be getting more distance with each pull, because now I'm, get, now I'm having two pulls, okay? My stroke count's gonna be a little bit lower. Now on the sprint side stroke, my, my stroke count's gonna be a lot higher, but I'm gonna be going across the water a lot faster. So if you're doing the screen test, 500 yard screen test, you may wanna do the first 400 yards doing the, the full side stroke, but finish the last 100 with the sprinter side stroke, depending on your uh, number one, your, your swimming ability and your fitness ability. So in closing, I'll leave you with this. There's no trick. There's no easy way. There's no substituting for good old-fashioned hard work. Okay? That hard work, that preparation time you guys need to be putting in now prior to BUDS will give you the confidence for when you are in BUDS, you're going to have that confidence level and that comfort and the chances of your success through BUDS increases dramatically. Above all else, remember, balance, length, and rotation. If you discipline yourself in practicing these skills, you're gonna find yourself swimming faster and more efficiently. This video is designed to help you get ready for BUDS training. But you can't learn the drills and swim strokes by just watching the DVD. You have to get in the water. We recommend hitting the pool at least three days every week. Try to spend a minimum of one hour in the water each session. Your goal should be to swim up to 500 yards doing the side stroke in under 10 minutes. If you can't swim that long or that far, don't worry. Cut back and work your way up to the goal. With desire and hard work, it won't take long before you're swimming like a Navy SEAL.